Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap with Southern California correspondent Scott Shapiro. ShapCap is sponsored by Derby Wars, your site for daily horse racing tournaments, and ShapperToCapper.com, your site for daily handicapping info from across the United States. Hey, racing fans, welcome back to yet another edition of Horse Racing Nation presents ShapCap. The Santa Anita Winter Meeting closed this past Saturday and Sunday, and it was an up-and-down meet. We had a good meet in the pick fives. We didn't do so great in the stakes races. And in terms of the actual track, the turf had some issues, which definitely uh, took its toll on the cards. But overall, a solid meet as we got to see Songbird a few times. We got to see uh, California Chrome's return. And really, just uh, the California racing continues to, while not have big fields in many races, continues to support most of the superstars in the game. Speaking of superstars, the Kentucky Derby is coming up now in just a few weeks, and that will be the focus up until the first Saturday of May of Shab Cap from Horse Racing Nation. Big weekend last weekend, three big stakes races that are prepped for the Derby. You had the Will Memorial in New York, the Bluegrass in Kentucky, and of course the Santa Anita Derby in Southern California. Uh, weather played a role in all three of them, Keeneland probably the least uh, in New York. The Wood Memorial of Todd Pletcher, no surprise, gets it done he, with his uh, horse outwork. It's been a bumpy road to the Derby this year for Pletcher, who really hasn't had a uh, real solid horse. He's got Destin, who won the Tampa Bay Derby, and now he has outwork, who is light on experience but very high in talent. Amazingly, the maiden Trojan Nation from out here in California for Patty Gallagher runs second, maybe could have won the race if Aaron Grider decided to move outside in the stretch instead of trying to come up the rail. Not real sure what the wood means. We haven't had a winner uh, from that race since Fusaichi Pegasus. But heck, the last two fourth place runners in the Kentucky Derby were out of the wood. Maybe we can just single uh, outwork in the fourth spot in the Superfecta and move on from there. Uh, in terms of the bluegrass, Surprisingly, looking back, the Bluegrass has not produced the winner of the Kentucky Derby since 1991 and strike the gold who came from dead last, I believe, in the Derby to get it done for trainer Nick Zito in one of a thrilling stretch drive. Uh, probably, I believe, my first full year in horse racing at the time following the game. Um, yeah, uh, what can you say? Brody's cause. Really look good after not firing in Tampa. You got to give this horse a chance. However, you know when you're when you're a late runner like Brody's cause, you're trip dependent. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of trip this horse gets in the Derby. But good to see this one back. Definitely in with a shot in Kentucky. And then you had my man Sam who ran second for Chad Brown. This horse post compromise going to be somewhat of a now horse perhaps in the Kentucky Derby. Brown hasn't really done it yet. He had Normandy invasion a few years back. Maybe more than, no, it was probably about a few years back. Uh, interesting to see how this horse progresses. Definitely in with a shot. Probably more of an underneath player. Hopefully this horse can draw inside more. Um, and then you had, uh, of course, the Santa Anita Derby. Very hard to make a lot out of this race given the slop. Um, Danzig Candy, from the beginning, Smith asked this horse. And he went way too fast up front. It'll be interesting to see where this horse goes from there. But, you know, he'll be probably placed right up on the front of the Kentucky Derby. I have my questions on this one. Mike Smith not riding that great. Clifford Seitz, there's more experienced trainers. And just not sure if uh, this one is capable of uh, wiring out the field in that big race in Kentucky. Um, Exaggerator was brilliant. Once again, did it in the off-going. Had shown a, an affinity for this already. And... Basically ran them off their feet. A massive effort. It would be interesting to see if this horse moved forward the second time around two turns uh, this year as a three-year-old because of the slop or just because he was progressing. Uh, he will take plenty of support in the derby, but there will be plenty of doubters as well. Um, I'm somewhere in between. It's hard to know uh, exactly how much the slop played into that one. Um, I will lean towards others at the moment. Uh, in the Kentucky Derby. And then you had the disappointing performance from Moore Spirit. On paper, runs second. But I really thought this horse was going to move forward and be one of the Kentucky Derby favorites. Did not happen. Can make some excuses. But I'm not sure if this is even Bob Baffert's best horse uh, in the Kentucky Derby picture. We will find out this Saturday as Cupid is the 2-1 to one morning line favorite in the Arkansas Derby. And with a win, could be uh, right in the mix outside of Nyquist for one of the next logical contenders in the Kentucky Derby. So looking forward to seeing the Arkansas Derby. Uh, over the next few weeks, we will have um, closer looks at some of the horses that we consider contenders as well as pretenders for the Kentucky Derby. 
And uh, just enjoy the weekend. There's great racing at Keeneland and, of course, at Oakland Park this Saturday. They're here at Los Alamitos for a few short weeks. Go check that place out. Real nice venue. Great weather, hopefully, in store in Southern California. So thanks a lot. Uh, we will look forward to seeing you again next week when we can talk more Kentucky Derby.